Hey everyone, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April favorites for you guys. And these are some beauty products and there's some non-related beauty items as well. And I'm also going to mention a few misses towards the end of the video. So if you want to see my April favorites, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the beauty items. I feel like I have a lot of lip products this month. Um, mainly because I love lip products anyways, but I have found I'm going for this look here recently, and it is just a corally pink lip, super glossy, and just a nice color for this time of year. So, what I did to achieve this look is the NYX Lingerie Lip and Bedtime Flirt, and this is just a really nice color, and it stays on, and super easy to use. And I just love this color. And then on top of this, I actually have the Moist Lip Color in Spring Rose by Merle Norman. This has such a pretty color. And it just goes well with this on top of this. So, definitely have been loving these two this month. My go-to lip color. It was going to be something I actually mentioned in my haul video. I'm super excited to mention I have started using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer again by Maybelline. This stuff is almost gone because I'm obsessed with using it under the eye area. I feel like it conceals my dark circles so well. I actually use it for a highlighter as well um, on my forehead, down my nose, and then on the chin. And I feel like the texture of this is perfect for that. So definitely have been loving that this month. And definitely will be repurchasing this as well. Okay, the next thing I want to mention is the Kiss Lashes that I've been obsessed with. I do not have them on today because I'm rocking my natural lashes. Um, I try to do that when I'm not at work. So, But yes, these are the Kiss ones and the, um, I don't know what the style, I never can remember where the style number, pretty sure it's this number right here, 62014, the KFLM02s. This is what they look like. They are super gorgeous, super natural, and they just add that little bit of a dramatic end that you want to have with your smoky eyes that I wear normally during the week. And I just feel like these lashes are so, so nice on the eye. And they do not feel heavy, and you can just wear them over and over. And I've already used two pairs, and I love that they come in a five pack. So definitely try these out if you're looking for some really good lashes and super inexpensive. You can get these at mostly every drugstore, I think. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be mentioning is kind of a funny thing to me because I know every YouTuber or mostly everybody on YouTube knows about it and has used this as a hack. But I've been using the Nivea Men Post Shade Balm as a primer and I see why everybody loves it because it really does prime the skin and helps the skin look super soft and actually smells really good too. So definitely props to whoever thought of this. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be mentioning is a thing that I got in my haul. I got in a haul video and also something that's been going around YouTube for a while now. And to say it, one of my favorites is the Casey Holmes Smashbox Pearl Palette. And I did get this one from Ulta. And it is the Spotlight Pearl. And this one that has the turn it on, crank it up, and blow a fuse. I did mention this in my haul. And this light one is my absolutely go-to, my favorite today. I actually have on the middle one, so loving it as well. These are just pigmented. They do not make your skin look textured, and I know that was one of her goals was to make the skin just look so nice, and it does do that. So that's definitely a favorite of mine this month, and I will continue to use that. Okay, the next thing I'm mentioning is my favorite go-to self-tanner, and I'm trying so hard to save it till summer because I absolutely love it and I hate using it now whenever I can use something else but this is my favorite my holy grail self tanner and it is the loving tan two hour express dark bronzing mousse and you leave this on for two hours let it dry and then you go in and shower and then you get the gorgeous results I think I've mentioned this before but I just wanted to mention it again because it is going into the summertime and I know a lot of you will be looking for a really good self tanner it just looks so even and it has just a really pretty olive complexion after you um, wash that off. So yeah, definitely try this out. It's a little bit on the pricey side for a self-tanner, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be mentioning is something I actually got for my hair. And I was going to get the name brand of this, 
but I could not find it anywhere and I just went ahead and went to Sally's and picked this up and it is the deep conditioning hair mask and they um, had that brand there it's called the generic brand generic value products and it kind of lists on there it compares the actual product to the generic product and it pretty much has the exact same thing in it it's just cheaper so much easier to use and get a hold of and this is a lot of product it has how many ounces eight fluid ounces so that's a good bit of product and it is compared to it's a 10 miracle hair mask and I was recommended by my hairdresser to try this out and I do love it I've been using a whole whole lot of it let me show you how much I've used I don't know if you can see that but it I've used a really good bit and I'll use it whenever I go to wash my hair and I'll leave it in for about two to three minutes on my days I'm kind of in a hurry and then on my deep treatment days I will use it I'll use it pretty much all night I'll let it sit on my hair and kind of just penetrate and it really is a great conditioner next thing I'm going to be mentioning is my favorite perfume I've almost used it up and I'm super sad and I'm going to have to get another one like as soon as possible and it is the walk on air by Kate Spade this is the best smelling perfume it's so fresh so girly so modern and chic I feel like and this bottle is absolutely gorgeous as well and as you can see I'm on my last bit super sad about it um, and it has 3.4 fluid ounces in this container and I think my mom actually got this for me last Christmas at Belk I want to say so I'm pretty sure you can get that there so that's all of the beauty products I have to mention but I'm going to go ahead and mention some of the house gifts that my fiance got me and I'm super excited about and it, when you see it you'll understand why okay if you know me personally then you know I absolutely love 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 pineapples and I'm obsessed with them and I like have everything pineapple that there is so whenever I saw these I had to have them and my sweet fiance bought them for me and they came from Cracker Barrel I'm not sure if people up north have ever been to a Cracker Barrel and I'm not sure if they have those up there but they do all in the south they're pretty much everywhere and they have a gift shop and you walk in and you can pretty much shop there's clothes there's housewarming items candles candy pretty much everything you could think of and these were right as you walked in the front door and they are the salt and pepper shakers and I've actually been looking for salt and pepper shakers because I am getting this house and it's going to be my own and I need like you know the everything basic daily things you need and oh my gosh how cute are these little things like you cannot beat how cute these are so I'm super excited to have these for my new kitchen and then the next thing is actually pineapple too and it matches perfect with my salt and pepper shakers and it's actually a ceramic pineapple cup and you can use it for a drink or you can use it for like storing um, cookies or something like that. I thought this was super cute. Had to have it. So here's the bottom, the base, and then the top. <coughs> Look how cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And then there's the little hole where you can put the straw for the drink. Like, how cute would this be during the summer for, like, a fruity margarita drink? So pretty. I'm obsessed with pineapples. And gold, I think, will be so pretty in my kitchen. I do have a great styled kitchen with white cabinets. And I want to kind of coordinate the silver and the gold, kind of mix it. And I feel like this is going to be so perfect for my counter. I'm going to have a really cute setup and everything that you guys will eventually see. Don't worry. But, yeah. So, I had to show you guys my new pineapple stuff. So, super excited. Thank you, babe. Next thing I'm going to mention is my misses for this month. I didn't have that many, but I did have some. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that for you guys so you wouldn't waste time maybe trying these products. Some of you may love these, and if you do, then that's great. But if you're with me, then give, this, give me a thumbs up. I'm all about some self-tanners. I love self-tanning. I think it's such a good thing instead of laying out in the sun or in the tanning bed. I feel like this is just such a new thing that all the girls are doing now instead of tanning um, in the sun which don't get me wrong I do love tanning outside but I will not get in a tanning bed um, but this just really failed for me uh, I have tried a lot of self tanners 
and a lot have worked for me and really affordable ones at Walmart and CVS and Walgreens and all that you can get really good self tanners well like I mentioned before the loving tan is my ultimate favorite holy grail self tanner and it just gives you such a good color well I have found a couple from Walmart that I, I have been really loving and I saw another one I wanted to try and it was the Durgan's natural glow and it's the foaming daily moisturizer this stuff I put it on today actually because I have to use a product if I buy it I feel like I have to use it all up or I'm not getting my money's worth but I literally cannot stand this stuff the foam is runny and I did shake it it does say on there shake but it's so runny and I feel like I use way too much it doesn't it doesn't apply very well it's just kind of all over the place and it's so messy and this product smells awful like a lot of you may love the smell of this but it literally stinks to me doesn't remind me of any beach or nothing like that it just smells bad um, and I really cannot tell a difference in my skin um, it does maybe feel a little more moisturized than a regular self tanner so that is a plus about it but other than that it does not give me the glow that I want um, so I'm really really disappointed in this product so and the next thing I'm probably gonna get some hate for um, I was actually interested in this product for a while and then I started seeing people start selling it and then that made me even more interested in it so I did purchase one and my fiance's cousin who is super sweet sells it and I wanted to love it because I was like oh she sells it so that means I can get it pretty easily without having to go through somebody I have no idea who it is and anyways I'm talking about the product lip sense this did not work for me this color is gorgeous and I was super excited about it because it actually reminds me of what I have on today um, but you're supposed to apply three thin coats of this stuff kind of let it dry in between and then you're supposed to make sure you shake it up really well too and have clean lips before you apply it make sure there's nothing on um, and you're supposed to kind of like tighten the lips to kind of make sure it dries evenly and I did all of that and then you're supposed to top it off with the moisturizing gloss or a gloss um, and I did that as well and it did not work for me it caked up and I couldn't make it work I had tried it three different times and it still just kept caking up on me and not a good first impressions for me on this product so I may try it out again later on but for right now it's definitely a miss for me if you've tried any of the lip scents let me know which colors that you love maybe I'll try those out okay the next thing I want to mention is my absolute number one favorite of this month I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video but I forgot about it um, it's my new vanity mirror if you want to see a whole video on this I will more than love to do that for you but this is the impression vanity mirror and it's ginormous I'm obsessed with it and like it's just gorgeous um, you pretty much have the LED lights around it and then it has the sensor touch button right here you just mash and it comes on it also has a Bluetooth speaker so that means you can play your music from your phone you can talk on the phone and turn the volume up and down on here and you just charge it this mirror has been like my saving grace for this month and another good thing is you can twist it around like how cool is that it has the little thing on the back and then the speaker up here so if you want to see a full review on this I will totally do that for you guys let me know down below but yeah this is amazing I totally recommend this for you if you're looking for a good vanity mirror I can't wait to have that in my beauty room but yeah so that is all for this video I know it's kind of super long but I had a lot of favorites and yeah so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video